Hey there, welcome back to Classical Mechanics. Suppose a particle of mass m is constrained to move on the surface of a sphere of radius r by an applied force f of theta and phi. The particle is moving on a two-dimensional surface, so we need to find two equations to describe its motion. What are the equations of motion of this particle? We start our analysis with Newton's second law. F equals to m r arrow two dots. As the particle is constrained to move on the surface of a sphere, we'll work with spherical coordinates this time. In these coordinates, the unit vectors are uh, r hat, theta hat, and phi hat. In Cartesian coordinates, we write Newton's second law as f sub x equals to mx two dots, f sub y equals to my two dots, and f sub z equals to mz two dots. The total force in spherical coordinates reads in terms of r, theta, and phi. f arrow equal to f sub r r hat plus f theta theta hat plus f phi phi hat. Because the magnitude of R is capital R, the radius of the sphere, uh, the force along the radial direction, F sub R, is zero. Let's go back to Newton's second law, now in spherical coordinates. Fm R two dots R arrow in spherical coordinates is written as R R hat, R arrow dot is R R hat dot, and R two dots is R R hat two dots. So Newton's second law is written as f equals to m r r hat two dots. But this r hat two dots needs to be written in terms of the unit vectors in spherical coordinates. We first need to relate Cartesian coordinates with the spherical coordinates. R is the distance of the particle to the origin of coordinates. Theta is the angle from the vertical z axis. This theta angle goes from zero to pi and phi is the angle on the xy plane and goes from 0 to 2 pi. The unit vectors r hat, theta hat and phi hat written in spherical coordinates they read r hat equal to sine of theta cosine of phi i hat plus sine of theta sine of phi j hat plus cosine of theta k hat. Then for theta hat that is equal to cosine of theta cosine of phi a hat plus cosine of theta sine of phi j hat minus sine of theta k hat and for phi hat we have that it is equal to minus sine of phi i hat plus cosine of phi j hat. If we derive this uh, we get r hat dot, theta hat dot and phi hat dot. R hat, theta hat and phi hat are the unit vectors in spherical coordinates. These vectors do change as we move along space. 
they point in different directions. Take your time now to, to go over these results. We derive again to get r hat two dots, which remember is what we need to write Newton's second law in spherical coordinates for this problem. With this now we can write the equations of motion f theta is m times the acceleration in the theta direction f phi is m times the acceleration in the phi direction and because there is no acceleration in the r direction phi dot square sine square of theta plus theta dot square is zero. These are the general equations of motion of a particle contained to move on a surface of a sphere. Once we know the forces f sub theta, f sub phi, we should be able to solve uh, the differential equations and find the motion of the particle.